dear friends, put down your gadgets, turn away from your computers, get out your scissors, paper, and glue, because it's time for a paper adventure. All right! Aristotle Knock Knock Paper Tales! In one particularly papery land, there lived a moose named Aristotle and a woodpecker named Knock Knock. One beautiful evening, the friends were sitting in the living room and working on a crossword puzzle. Eight down. The table one contains much, and the tea one a little. What is it? Hmm. Spoon. It's spoon, Knock. So we put down spoon. And now five across. A glass with an ear on the side. Hmm. Cup. Okay. C U P. And next, it lives on a swamp, but it's not a toad, rather, it's friend. Who is it? Perhaps you know already that whenever he ponders a problem, Aristotle plays his double bass. And now, as usual, he started playing a tune, when suddenly, Someone started playing just as loud. Hey, listen, Knock. As soon as I start playing my double bass, someone starts playing along with me. It's very, very distracting. Oh, but there's only one word left to finish the crossword. Uh, can you try to find the answer without your double bass? Hmm, I wonder who it could be. They must really have an ear for music. They're too good at playing. Oh, then it's Kay the J. She has a very musical ear. And she sings superbly, too. Come on, let's run and check it. But Kay the J was not at home. Instead, the friends found a paper note. Hurry, it says that Kay the J is on tour until Thursday. That's a pity, Knock. So it's not K the J, but who then? Who can it be? Who can it be? Hey, I know. An Echo. Well, Knock, then let's head out there to where Echo lives and find out. And so the friends reached that very place where Echo was living. It's so quiet here. Ari, play quickly before this drives me crazy. Well, definitely this is not an echo. But what is it then? Oh, if we keep this up, we'll never finish our crossword. We'll have to think it over, Knock. In silence, calmly, and paperfully. Well, sure. These were frogs. And they're very, very musical. And they love to put up froggy concerts. Yes, it was frogs. They loved the music so much that as soon as they heard the double bass, they started to sing along at once. Take a sheet of green paper and fold it to make a square. Cut away the extra. There you go. Now, bend the two corners into a triangle towards the center. That's it. Amazing. Bend the ends outward. These will be the frog's legs. Cut two circles out of a piece of paper and paint eyes on them. Now, glue them onto your frog's head. Great! Your frog is ready to jump. Wait, Ari! What about the crossword? Two down! It lives in a swamp, but it's not a toad. Rather, it's friend. Who is it? A frog! 
Hooray! How paperful! In this way, the friends found out who the mysterious musicians were. And on the same page, they solved the challenging crossword puzzle. So without a doubt, we can say that this story also folded up in a very paperful way. See you next paper time.